be the glory to God 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 be the glory put your mind on Jesus saints welcome to Mount Pisgah prayer one hour of prayer and Jesus asked his disciples couldn't you pray with me couldn't you wait with me but for one hour it's prayer time in the house glory to Jesus glory to Jesus we give you glory 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 we honor you Jesus we honor you Jesus we honor you master we honor you tonight jesus we come before you jesus with our hands lifted to a good god you're a good god you're a good god you're a good god we adore you jesus we honor you jesus we love you jesus we give you glory, God. We give you glory. Baba she take a little boat. We give you glory, God. We lift your name, Jesus. We lift your name, Jesus. There's no other name we know, Jesus. We lift your name, Jesus. We lift your name, Jesus. We give you glory tonight, Jesus. We honor you in your presence, Jesus. We honor you in your presence, Jesus. We dare not come before you this night, God. Oh, God asking you for anything, Jesus. But God, on tonight, we come to give you adoration, God. We come to give your name the glory, God, that is due to a holy king, God. We come to lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus, come on, saints, I need you praying with me. Amen. I need you coming before God with a spirit of adoration. Amen. Come in some. I need you to come before God with a spirit of thankfulness. God is speaking even now to you. God is speaking even now to you. God is saying, if my people who are called by my name will continue, will continue in the way. Come in some. We'll continue in the way. We'll continue in the way. I'm speaking directly Eshata, to the people of God. Thank you. God is speaking directly to his children. God is saying, if my people who are called by my name will cry out to me this very hour, if my people who are called by my name will lift up their voice like a trumpet, if my people who are called by my name will get out of your cell, get out of your comfort zone, get your mind of what you're going through get your mind of what you come out of and think oh my goodness God say haven't I been good to you God say haven't I opened doors for you I hear the spirit of God saying now that you owe me a praise God say you owe me your life hey baby shit God say you owe me everything that's on the inside of you God say because I made you God say you're fearfully. God say you're wonderfully made. God say I created you in my image. God say I created you in my image and after my likeness. Praise saints. Oh, I feel the spirit of God in this house. God, we come before you tonight, God. Humbling ourselves before the feet of Jesus. Knowing, God, that you are my help. Do you believe it tonight that Jesus is my help, God? 
Oh, we come, God, to give your name glory because your name is a strong tower. Your name is strength, God. Your name is vitality, God. Your name is awesome in the earth, God. Your name is strong in my mind. Your name is strong in my life. Oh, God, oh, God, on tonight, God, if my people who are called by my name oh you are the call of God I'm talking to you my brother and sister God say you are the call of God God say act according God say act accordingly God say I have called you from where you were God say I have called you from out of the cliffs of the enemy Paul's God say I have called you from out of true darkness God say I have called you from a desolate Excellent place. God say, I have called you from a dry place. God say, where would you be without his love for you? God say, do a call of God. God say, live according to your charge. God say, live now according to the charge that I have given over your life. You need to open your mouth and speak in your heavenly language. The spirit of God is in this house even now and we come to tell you thank you Jesus you didn't have to do it but you did God we pray tonight God thanking you for mercy God where will we be without your mercy God the mercy that you had on our lives God from the cradle until now God you kept us God you kept us God even when we didn't want to be kept you know it you kept me God even when I lived the riotous life you kept Help us, Jesus, even when we didn't acknowledge you, God. Oh, yes, it was you, God. We were selfish, God. Oh, God, we were incompetent, God. God, we were bullshit. God, we were all about me, myself, and I. But, God, on tonight, we thank you, God, that you have arrested us in our spirit, God. You have gotten our minds of the control, God, and you have sentenced us here. God said, I have sent you there to lift up your voice like a trumpet and be thankful God say be thankful God say you got something here <laughs> I hear God saying you got so much <laughs> come on saints God say you got so much <laughs> to be thankful for where would you be <laughs> God say where would you be if it had not been for his grace if it had not been for his mercy if it had not been for his provision that he had for your life God we don't want nothing from you tonight God we're not asking you for nothing right now God we come to lift up the name of Jesus because you said in your word God that if my people God honor me with their lifestyle if I be lifted up by the way you talk if I be lifted up by the way you walk God say if I be lifted up by the way you move God say I'll draw don't you feel him drawing he's drawing you closer even through your sadness uh huh even through your loneliness uh huh even through the vacancies that you have in your heart uh huh even through the tenderness of your mind uh huh God say I'm drawing you closer to me God I'm drawing you closer to me I hear God say it's time for my people to let go of the ungodly thing Yes, God, I hear God saying it's time for my people to let go of the ungodly thing, that thing that doesn't represent me, that thing that doesn't bring honor to the kingdom. Oh, God, you love us so much, God, that even in the midst of our disobedience, even in the midst of our waywardness, you are a faithful God. You are an awesome God. God, like you did the children of Israel when you led them across the red see God you didn't do it for their sake God but you did it for your name's sake God is speaking to everyone under the sound of my voice God say you are where you are because of my name's sake God say I wrote my name on your heart God say I wrote my name on your heart God say you are mine and I am yours you were bought with the price we owe you Jesus we owe you Jesus we owe you all the praise God
God. We owe you all the honor, God. And on tonight, God, we dare not, God, come before you, God. Oh, God, a clean God, a holy God, a perfect God. We dare not come before you tonight, God, unworthy, God, not clean, God, unrepentant, God. But God, on tonight, God, we repent. You need to repent with me. We repent, God, of every sin of commission, God, every sin of omission, God, the sin that we knew not to do. Oh, God, the sin that we did willfully, God, we sin against you, God, when we didn't do what you said, God. We sin against your holy word, God, when we, when we went against, God, the word of God, when we went against them that have the rule over us. God, we dare not come before you tonight, God, without having a heart of repentance oh god we have a godly sorrowfulness oh god we're godly sorrowful you need to say god i'm sorry you need to say god i repent god i know you hear sinners cry i know you hear the saints cry and on tonight god before we go any further king jesus oh we're crying out god and we're telling you thank you we're telling you thank you god thank you for forgiving us god of all of our transgressions god God, of all of our evil ways, God, of all of our trickery ways, God, of all of our selfish ways, God, of all of our hesitant ways, God. I didn't move when you say move, God. I didn't go when you told me to go, God. Oh, God, I allowed this flesh. Come on, I'm talking to somebody. God, I allowed this flesh, God, to overtake your will. I grieve the Holy Spirit. Am I talking to you yet? God said you grieve the Holy Spirit, but on tonight, God, we recognize, we recognize God, we recognize God, we recognize God, we recognize God, we are aware. God say, are you aware? God say, oh, are you aware on what you have done? Oh, displeasing in the sight of God. And on tonight, God, we lift up holy hands, God, coming from a clean heart, coming from a repentant heart. God, we come to tell you, we thank you. Thank you for hearing the sinners cry. And we ask for divine forgiveness. Oh, God, yes, Oh, we fall short of your glory. And we ask you, God, to wash us with hyssop, God. Clean us up, God, so that we're whiter than snow. Oh, God, take knock your hand, God, away from our hearts, God. Continue, God, to let the blood, God, the flood of the blood of Jesus, wash our sins away. Oh, clean us up, God. Oh, do it, God, like no one can do it. Pick us up, God, and turn us around, God, and give us feet like hinds feet. Help us to go over our problems. Help us to go over our circumstance. Help us to leap over problems. Oh, don't let it affect us anymore, God. That thing that came to torment our life. God, we lay it at the altar. I hear God saying, there's some things. God say, if you lay it at the altar, it'll never have authority again over your life. God say, if you lay it at the altar, God say, it'll never have authority over your life. On tonight, God, we repent and we ask for forgiveness and we thank you and we thank you. Come on, tell them thank you and and we thank you, Jesus. Come on, you at the house. You need to move the coffee table. You that are in here, continue to cry out to God because we know what we are called to do. Intercessors, you know what you're called to do. Oh, God said, cry out. God said, cry out to me. I open my ears to them. God said, I will open my ears to them that come to me with a broken heart and a contract spirit. Oh, God, we pray, God, that you would take not your love away from us we pray Holy Spirit that your love will abide that your love will continue God to draw us closer to thee God oh God even though we back up God even though we allow the cares of the world God to pull us away from your presence oh God we come not now and we tell you thank you Jesus that you haven't left our side God you are right there you are humbly present God you're everywhere at the same time time oh god we thank you god for manifestation god you have manifested yourself unto us you have revealed i said to call over oh god where will we be god if you didn't manifest yourself in this life 
in our heart, in our mind, in our home, on our job. You manifested yourself to us, God, and you continue to prove to us, God, that you are God, you are jealous, God. We understand the scriptures. We know that you are jealous, God, and you say, that shall have no other God before thee, God. Oh, God, Lord. Oh, hey, Shata. Hey, clean us up, God, like only you can clean us, God. Bring us, God, before a good God. Oh, God, bring us before a good Father in the name of Jesus, and we thank you, God, that you have given us authorization on tonight. Yes, God, you have given us authority. Oh, God, we thank you for giving your people authority on tonight, God. The power, the wisdom, the want to, the know-how on how to come to Jesus. Oh, with our hands lifted up, with our heart raised to you, God. Knowing that you still hear our cry. Knowing that the door is still shut up. Oh, God, we thank you that you left the door open for us. Thank you, God, that you have still given us access. You need to praise God for access. You need to clap your hands that you still got access. You could have been down the street, around the corner, in your grave. But that ain't shot take I'm so thankful. I can't thank God for you. You ought to thank God for yourself. I'm so thankful and that he didn't let this shot out. I'm so thankful. We still praying. I'm so thankful. We're so thankful, God, that you did not allow this shit take. That you did not allow God, judgment, God, to have his way, God. But your shakana glory, equal of all shut I feel glory in the house i feel angels all over this building oh god we thank you god that you did not allow god our death sinners the sinners god that we should have got the sinners god that the devil wanted god to destroy your people god god we thank you god that you did not allow god trouble god to overtake our life god but you jesus you came to our rescue god and you came to see about us god and for that cause we want to tell you thank you for that purpose God we want to tell you God we will continue to glorify you we will continue to honor you God we will continue to bask in your presence God we will continue to tell the dying world oh God if you continue to wake us up every morning God if you continue God to start us on our way God if you continue God to make a way out of no way God oh God we'll continue to tell the dying world God we'll tell our family members we'll We'll tell our co-workers, God. We'll tell our neighbors, God. Our lifestyle will be our gift back to you. Oh, God, we need to live for you, Jesus. Help us to live holy, God. Help us to live blameless, God. Help us to live holy, God. Help us to live blameless, God. Oh, God, let not the foul spirit come upon us, God. Let not the evil communicating spirit, God. Let not the evil communicating spirit come above us, God. But help us to be holy. We want to be holy. We speak holiness right now in the lives of the believers, in the lives of them that love Jesus. Be ye holy. God say, be ye holy. God say, be ye holy, for I am holy. For I am the Lord thy God, who have brought thee out of bondage, who have delivered you out of the hard taskmaster. The hard taskmaster now is the devil. The hard taskmaster now is the flesh. The hard taskmaster now is yourself. Oh God, we thank you, God, that you are continually, God, to deliver us from ourselves. Oh God, we thank you, God, because we know there's no righteousness, God, that we can have on our own God but it's only by your righteousness God that we're saved on this evening that we're delivered on tonight God and God we recognize it God we don't come to you tonight God with with form or fashion we don't come to you God claiming to know everything we don't come to you tonight God claiming that we've been all of this or all of that God but we come lowly we come humbly God hey God to bask at the feet of Jesus to worship at the feet of Jesus God because we ain't got it all right God because we still need some help God because we're still fighting the good fight of faith oh God we still got some battles God that we have to fight God but we do know God that we're not fighting for victory we're fighting from victory because we already got the victory the war is already won and we thank you God and we thank you God I can rejoice on that and we thank you God that the war is already won 
Lord. But God, we know, God, that we still got to fight the good fight of faith. And we believe, God, by the indwelling. We believe, Holy Spirit, by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, God, you'll give us the power to fight. You'll give us the power, God, to tell the devil no. You'll give us the power tonight, God, to bind those things. Have you ever bound anything in your life? You ever went through your household and bind the devil? Have you ever went on your job and bind the devil? I challenge you to continue to bind that spirit, to bind that devil, to bind that wicked force, to bind that hexer, hey, to bind that soothsayer, to bind the evil force that have come against you, that have come against your family. You have the power. You have the authority to speak to your children you have the authority to speak to your husband you have the authority to speak to your wife you have the authority to speak to your kindreds and tell them to come for come for thus saith the Lord come for oh God I thank you God that you have given us access God you have given us access God to walk in authority I speak upon everyone's lives in this place and you that are watching from the comfort of your home I pray that you will walk in your authority your divine authority that God has given you and through the shedding of the blood, through the resurrection of Jesus, through you accepting God as your Savior. God said you can walk in power. You can walk in authority. You have no... God said you have no reason to fear. You have no reason to fear. God said walk in authority. God said, as you're walking in authority, God said, I will teach you to walk in abundance. Oh, God said, I will teach you to walk in abundance. But first, you got to live a life of sacrifice. First, you got to live a life of dedication. And God said, I will teach you to walk in abundance. Oh, God, we thank you on tonight, God. God, we know, God, that we sin. We know that we err, God. And we thank you, God, for giving us another chance. We thank you, God, for giving us another chance, God. We could have been in the hospital. And I speak right now. Here it is right here. I speak expressly, God, to that spirit, God, that comes to overwhelm the flesh. That spirit that comes to overwhelm the mind with depression. We bind depression right now. We bind depression right now. We bind depression right now. In the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of anxiety right now. I speak especially to that spirit. Loose your hold off God's people. We speak it in the atmosphere. Not by my power but by the power of Jesus the Christ. The one that says I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. God we speak right now especially against it God. Every spirit of God that comes to raise itself up against the knowledge of God we speak especially to it now we walk boldly God and in authority God knowing that COVID-19 the coronavirus God has no power over this flesh God it has symptoms but it has no power God we ask you to cover uh, naturally and spiritually cover your people God you that are in the hospital you that are laying in the house you that are laying there on your quarantine I speak deliverance in your life now not just in your body but in your mind in the name of Jesus we speak against the spirit of fear right now and we cast out fear Oh, God, we cast our fear, God. We know it's not all about us, God, but it's about how we look. It's about how we act. It's about how we walk, God, before your children, before them that don't know you, God. We speak against God right now, that spirit of fear, God, that have tormented your people in the last 18 months, God. We speak against it now. Give us to walk in wisdom. Give us to walk in authority, God, in the name of Jesus. Give us to understand the power of our words I speak it right now in the atmosphere hey, that you will speak life over you that you will speak wellness yes you do you got to speak life speak wellness over your life oneness of mind oneness of heart oneness of your hey, shut up oneness of spirit speak it over your life speak it over your family speak it over your future I say speak it over your life speak it over your family speak it over your future I shall live my family shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord no matter who comes 
no matter who goes, every opportunity is a eshata. Every opportunity that God allow me eshata to go through the fire, I'll go through God. Many of you are going through a fiery situation now. Many of you are going through something that you never experienced before. God say, I'm setting you up for new growth. God say, you got to go through this. God say, the love that you have for the kingdom, it requires that you go through. Hear God. God say, the love that you have for growth, the love that you have for me. God say, you got to pick up your cross. Father, I pray, God, that everyone under the sound of my voice tonight will understand the power of sacrifice. They will understand the need, God, of living a purpose-filled life, God. God say, it must be shut up. God say, you must go through in order to get to hear the voice of God. God say, you must go through to get through. But God say, I'm with you. I've never left your side. God say, hey, shut up. God say, although you cry tears at night, I say, although you sometimes you get mad and upset because you don't understand why me, God. God say, I'm still right there. God say, I'm bringing you through. God say, I'm bringing you through. But God say, you got to trust me. God say, you got to put your hand in my hand. And God say, you got to follow me. Follow Jesus. I'm talking to someone right now that it seems as if you have gotten off track. That it seems as if you have gotten off course. God say, follow me. God say, I am the way. She told you. God say, God say I am the way God say follow me God say follow my servant God say heed the voice of my servant God say heed the voice God God say heed the voice of my man servant obey the word of God God say live a life God say live the life God say live the life God that I would be pleased with God say live the life God that you would be pleased that he would be pleased with oh God I thank you oh God we praise you God oh God we thank you Jesus oh God that you're right there by our side God God we thank you God for ministering angels God we thank you for the angels God that have been established God oh God we thank you for the angels right now God that have been assigned to our lives and we thank you God that they are on their assignment. Help us, God, to understand, God, that you're leading and guiding us, God, up through the path of righteousness. On this path of righteousness, God said you're going to have to go through the wilderness. But, God, we're going through, God, with our hands up. God, we're going through, God, knowing, God, that you have it, knowing, God, that it won't be this way always. You got to live that type of life. <laughs> you got to know. Don't throw in the towel. One thing you can't do is give up. God say you got to know that you got to walk by faith and not by sight. Oh God, we want to walk by faith, God. We speak and we pray right now, God, that you will continue to help us, God, to walk the walk of faith. God, without faith, you said it's impossible to please you, God. On today, God, as we honor you, God, as we magnify you, Jesus, we pray right now, God, shut up. We pray, God, that you will give us a voice, God, to be able to speak God to those things God say I'm giving you a voice God say I'm giving hey, shut up. God say I'm giving your voice back many of you seems as if you have lost your voice God said many of you seem as if you have lost your direction many of you have seemed like you have lost your, lost your destiny but God say I'm going to give it back through your speech God say I'm going to give it back to you speaking by faith God say hey, shut up. God say speak those things in your life that be not as though they were God say stop speaking Speaking damnation over your life. I speak it right now in the midst of God's people. No longer shall you speak damnation. No longer say you speak quitting over your life. No longer say you speak damnation over your family's life. But God says, speak faith. God says, speak dominion. God says, speak out of authority over your life, over the life of your brother, over the life of your sister. Come on, God says, speak life. Speak life. Speak life. Speak life. And on tonight, God, we realize, God, 
we understand and know God oh God that you are soon to return God and God we know God that you're looking for a church God that will be ready God thank you Jesus for giving us signs and wonders thank you God for giving us signs of the time we recognize and we see God as we pray on tonight God we pray God that everyone under the sound of my voice will be able to see with their spiritual eye oh God help them to see God not with their natural eye but help them to see with their spiritual eye to see the writing on the wall you need to know my brothers and sisters the right shut the writing is on the wall God is soon to return draw not to thee he said God said draw not to thee God said every needless pain God said every weightier matter God said lay it at my feet God said give it to me God said you can't follow in righteousness God said you can't follow me in truth with carrying that dead weight God said lay it at the altar God said get rid of it God said get rid of it God said give it to me all you that labor all you that labor and are heavy laden God said come unto me and I'll give you rest no longer hey, oh, shut up. no longer my brother sister amen when you toss and turn at night no longer would you have to pop pills just to sleep oh God is bringing deliverance right now so you can rest I hear Jehovah Salom Jehovah Salom will come to your house Jehovah Salom has come to your front door God say let him in Jehovah Salom God you are my peace God no longer will I worry about my future no longer will I worry about where the paycheck is coming from no longer will I worry about God what you're going to do in my career no longer will I worry God what you're going to do concerning this ache in my body oh God no longer God am I going to worry God whether I may get corona or not God I will not worry I will not fear because you are Jehovah alone you are the God of peace God where there's peace there can't be confusion where Jehovah alone is there can't be a wayward mind where Jehovah alone is you have to be confident you can't try you can't be weary hey you can't be wavering in your mindset but you got to know you got to walk in boldness you got to walk in authority if you're going to walk in Jehovah Shalom. We speak right now, God, uh, that you are still Jehovah Rofi. You're Jehovah Rofi, God. You're Jehovah Rofi, God. You're Jehovah Rofi, God. You're the God that healeth thee, God. You will continue to heal thy people because you say healing is the children's bread. Right now on tonight, God, there are many that are under the sound of my voice, God. They know who you are in the pardon of their sin, but God, they're still going through pain. They're still going through agony, God. They're afraid that it might be cancer. They're afraid that it might be corona. Oh, God, we speak especially to that spirit of worry, that spirit of fear. Oh, we speak faith right now that you will have faith with works, God, to know that the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary's cross, that it has already healed you. You're already healed. You're already healed. God say, say it. I'm already healed. Come on, you're not saying it. I'm already healed. I'm already healed. God say, by his strength. God say by his stripes God say by his stripes we are healed God comes to heal God comes to heal I say God comes to heal God comes to heal let him do the healing let him do the healing he's moving he's moving right now activate the healing come on open your mouth I'm gonna activate the healing and you he got to hear your voice he wants to hear a sound there's a sound that comes there's a sound that comes comes from the believer when we speak healing over our lives there's a sound of assurance you ain't shut up you got to believe there's a sound of assurance that comes to them God oh God and we believe God and we understand God and we know God that you are Jehovah grow you are our healer you are our healer you come to heal thee you come to bring deliverance God and we shall have everything that you decree I shall have everything that you decree in my life God it's mine it's mine come on you need to say that with me say it's mine it's mine come on speak it for your children your unsaved children Speak it for your unsaved grandchildren. Come on, speak it over their life. Speak it for your unsaved relatives. Come on, speak it over their life. You shall have what God decree unto thee. You shall have 
Glory to God. We give you glory, God. We give you glory, God. Right now, God, you told us, God, to pray, God, to break generational curses, God. On tonight, God, as it was in the Old Testament and the New Testament, you said in your word, God, that any man that come before me with a broken heart and a contract spirit, I will in no wise cast him away. God, you said where well, there's any two or three touching together, agreeing and not doubting, we can ask whatsoever we will and you would do it for us God God you even said in your word that by your strikes your people are healed so right now God we speak especially God to generational curses curses that come through the bloodline curses that come to the spirit line from generation to generation it stops tonight yeah it stops tonight and we break it right now by the blood of Jesus not by the words of my mouth God not by the words of my mouth God but by the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary's cross. We speak against it now. Be broken. Be healed. Be delivered. You're free. Be healed. Hey, hey, shout out. Be healed. Be healed. Be broken. Be delivered. Set free. Be healed. Be broken. Oh, be delivered. Set free. 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 Be set free. Young boy, be set free. Young lady, be set free. Oh, your mind is changing. Your attitude got to be changed. I feel the spirit of the Holy Ghost dealing with your behavior. He's changing your behavior. I speak against God. Every spirit, God, that comes not from heaven strong, God, that comes from Satan himself. I speak against it now that you would have not authority over God's children. Ah, take your hands off God's property. Hey, I belong to Jesus. The blood of Jesus. It's the blood of Jesus that gives us power. It's the blood of Jesus that rose Jesus from the grave. It's the power of Jesus that washes our sins away. God's not dead. He's still alive. That gives you the power. That gives you the assurance to know no devil in hell, no demonic force in hell, no spirit of doubt, no spirit, hey, shut up. no deceiving spirit, no the spirit of lust, no the spirit of peace, hey, God, oh, a restless mind, no the spirit, God, it cannot come against the oracles of God, it cannot come against the power of God. I shall have what I decree, God, you say it belongs to us. We break generational curses now. When it comes up, God say, plead the blood of Jesus. God say, your face will be tested. But God say, when it comes up, God say, plead the blood of Jesus. Walk in boldness. Walk at Shatta. God say, be confident. I hear the Spirit saying, be confident. And when the enemy comes in, when the enemy looks you dead in the face and speak against your family and speak against your God and speak against what you believe, God say, speak in authority and plead the blood of Jesus. There's power in the blood. If you believe it, God say, I got your back. God say, if you speak it, God say, I got your back. God say, I got, oh, shut up. And God be for me. If God be for me, God say, who could be against me? Hallelujah, God. We bless you, God. Oh, God. You told us to come together today, God. You told us today will be a service, a miracle of healings and wonders, God. And we receive it in advance. We receive it in advance. God say it's already taking place. God, God say it's already taking place. God say it's yours. God say it's yours. God say it's yours. God say the fact that you showed up is yours. The fact, God say that's faith with words. The fact that you came with a spirit of expectation. I didn't come to be seen. I didn't come to be heard, God. But I come to avail myself to God. I come to get under the glory cloud. Oh, God. Your glory cloud is in the house. Oh, feel us, God. Overshadow us, God. Rain on us, God. Oh, because your glory cloud, God, it met us here, God. And it, it dwells in the midst of your people, God. Oh, God. We speak right now, God. 
God, that you will loose, God, that you will loose finances, God, and miracles over your people, God. Many of us, God, are going through because we're too attached, God, over these earthly things, God. Help us to understand, God, that we must let go of these things, God, that we must not bow down to the system of the world. Help us to understand, God, that money is a means of exchange. You have never established money for us to worship. You never established things for us to worship. Help us, God, to put these fleshly things, God, in their rightful place, God. Oh, God, but we lose finances in your life that the people of God will be able to operate in the spirit realm. Many of you, God, has charged you, amen, over your ministry, over your ministry of deliverance, your ministry of witness, your ministry of outreach. God said, I'm going to give you the finances. Oh, you better hear God. God said, I'm getting ready to open up doors for you. Money that's coming from unexpected places. God say money that's coming from unexpected hands, from their hands to your hands. God say remember, remember your calling. Remember what I'm giving you. This increase for, for you to oh, for you to go out. And God say do kingdom work. God say walk in your calling. God say walk in your destiny. Hey God, we pray God that you will continue to let Jehovah Salon God be in the lives of our young people God. As they go through school, as they go through the work force as they grow through college God as they go through everyday life God help them God to be able to overcome the spirit of the mind a wavering mind God a mind that doesn't come to bring you glory we speak order in their minds oh God we speak God that your word will continue to stand up in them God that their mother taught them that their father taught them even though they're going away God let your word stand up in them God give them oh shut up give them to stand God in the holy place God and to cry holy and to cry holy holy God we pray right now God that you will give us a self-motivating spirit many of you that's under the sound of my voice you have allowed for the enemy to give you a spirit to discourage you so easily oh I feel it in my spirit even as I walked in the church today but God I speak it right now over the highs over the lives of your people God that you would help us God to give us a self-motivating spirit help us to understand God that if you be for us you're more than the world against us no longer will we allow situations to cloud my mind no longer will you allow what you're going through to get you hey, to get you to doubt to get you to not believe oh God but on today we speak God deliverance in the mind of your people you said in your word Apostle Paul let the mind of Jesus be in the mind of us and we receive it God that every time the spirit of the world every time the spirit of Belzebub every time it comes to our mind God we will cast it out <laughs> while pleading the blood of Jesus we will cast it out for way away from us by pleading the blood of Jesus ah, you can't let the devil steal your mind you can't let the devil steal your thoughts ah, I speak clean mindsets I speak clean thoughts right now in the lives of your believer oh shata and it is so and so it is God father we ask you right now God that you will bless your people God to have good conscious God the conscious God is sometimes hey God we can't control God but I pray God that the enemy won't come to steal God oh God our unconscious mind hey, shut up. help us to be pure in every area of our life help us to think on things that are pure things that are honest things that of a good report God help us to praise and honor your name God every day of our lives God help us to open our mouth in boldness God and tell a dying world God that Jesus is real God and help us to show love God how can we speak Jesus when we have not love God we speak love in the midst of your people, God. Sometimes love can be forward. Some kind of love can be not agreeable with. But love is love. Oh, God, help us, God, as your people, God. Walk in the spirit of love, God. A spirit of compassion, God. Drawing them that are lost. Oh, God, tell them them that are lost. Tell them them that are lost. Tell them them that are walking in darkness. Oh, God, you have commissioned us, God, to go out in the hedges and the highways and compel them to come. 
and to spread the gospel, God. Oh, God say, I commission you, you that are on the sound of my voice. God say, I commission you to be a disciple. God say, it starts in your home. God say, speak the word of God. God say, bind spirits, God. Spirits that's hovering over your house. Spirit that's hovering some of you in your house. God say, you hey, God say, believe. God say, believe. God say, believe and you shall receive. Many of us walking in doubt. We believe some days and some days we don't believe. God say, you got to believe. God say, don't you never stop believing. We bind the spirit, God, that comes to shadow the belief of your people. And we ask you right now, God, to help us, God, to believe in the power, in the power, believe in the power of Jesus Christ. The power of Jesus Christ can deliver your family. The power of the word of God can change your atmosphere. The power of the word of God, if you speak it, if you live it, it can change your household. It can change your environment. It can change your climate. Oh, the power can change your climate. It'll change your mindset. Oh, God, but to walk in your power, the very power that raised up Jesus from the dead. I speak power in the life of the believer. Hey, no longer, no longer would you walk in doubt. No longer would you walk in fear. God said, you got power. God said, you got this. God said, you got power. And it is so. And so it is. Come on, clap your hands all over the building. Thanks. And give God praise. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Help me lift this song. You can cut that, sister. The song says, Hallelujah. 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 God say, this is a song of warfare. Come on, say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What you're doing is saying, God, I give you praise in the midst of what I'm going through. In the midst of what my family member is going through. In the midst, God, on what they're talking about me. Some of y'all still get talked about. God, in the midst of me not knowing what my future holds. But God, I'm giving you praise. I'm giving you honor. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the highest praise that you can give God Almighty. Say hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, God. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Early in the morning, we say hallelujah. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Open your mouth and say, Lord, I love you. Hey, shout out by. Hallelujah, God. Say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. With everything within me, yeah. Lord, I love you. Now tell them, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Bobo Shata. Thank you, Jesus. The name that's given unto name, any other name, no other name is more powerful than the name of Jesus. Oh, we say thank you, Jesus. Woo, Shata, my. Come on, don't you want to tell them thank you? Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's the only name that's going to get you from out where you are. That's the only name shot top, that you should call when you're in trouble, when you feel destitute, when you feel lonely. You are the call on the name of Jesus, and he's not coming. He's already there. Jesus, say you are worthy, say you are worthy. What that says is that nothing else gets the glory over your life, your job, your family, amen, your bank account, your health. You are worthy, Jesus. Yes, God. Ooh, yes, you are. You are worthy, God. Worthy. 
Now, this one is personal. Say, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. Woo! Oh, shut up. I feel him in my toes. Say, I love you, Jesus. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Why do I love him? Because I've been forgiven. Woo! Trinity, I say, I've been forgiven. That's why I love him. And I know I don't deserve it. But I love him, 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 I love him. When you think about your wife, you think about your husband, when you think about your significant other, when you think about your children, how God has kept them, uh, even though they haven't been the best, even though you haven't been the best, God, we can still lift up hands to say, God, I love you. Hey, Shata. Mm. Come on, right there, put your hands together, give God praise. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Okay, sister, give me a little bit more of that. I feel God. Come here, Takesha. Thank you, God. I don't know. Thank you, God. I'm just following God. Hallelujah. God said, raise your hand. God said, as you surrender more of yourself to the will of God, God said, everything that you've been expecting God to do in your life, God said, every promise that you've been, could, I can hear you saying that, God, there's some things that I need to turn around in my life. But God said, the more that you draw not to me, God said, the more that you sacrifice and sur surrender to me, God said, the more that you amplify your life and your voice for my will, God said, I'm getting ready to turn your life totally around that everyone that know you going to know the real you. That everyone that thought that they knew you, they're going to meet the new revive you. Yeah, God said, he's getting ready to revive your life. God said, he's getting ready to revive your image. God said, he's getting ready to, for you to open your mouth and to speak what thus saith the Lord. Say, Lord, everything that you have for me, say, I receive it. Come on, put your hands together. Holiness. God say, a holy life. God say, it's going to start with your life. God say, yeah! Hey! God say, get your house in order. God say, get your house in order. God say, I've been speaking to you. God say, it's time for you to get your house in order. God say, hear the voice of God. God say, hear my humble voice. God say, I am the God that healeth thee. I am the God that have brought you out. God say, I delivered you. I'm your deliverer. God say, get your house in order. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. I feel glory in here, saints. I feel glory. I feel deliverance. No longer, no longer will you be the same. No longer would this just be another prayer service. But God say he's giving you strategy. God say he's giving you what to do. And God say he's giving you how to do it. God say I'm getting ready to turn your life around. Hey, God say I'm getting ready to revive your life. God say I'm giving you new life. I'm giving you new life. Sometime in our lives we got to learn how to let go. We got to learn how to let go of things that we've been holding on to. Amen. That don't honor God. That don't honor our, the life that God has given us to live. We'll never, God say, we'll never be the progress in warfare. We'll always be going around in circles. Because they're parts of our life. We're still living in bondage. Hey, Shatama. You call over, Shatama. Come here, Sister Charlotte Rouse. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hear God, Sister Young. Takesha, follow God. Trust God. God say, trust me. Trust me. God say, trust me. God say, take me. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Raise your hands, sister. Raise your hands. Hey, shot top my. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, baby, shine no ho sha baba shate u maba shake lobo. He shate kilobo shata. He shata kilobo shate. He kilobo shate. I hear God saying water. God say cleansing. God say water. Cleansing. I hear God telling you to drink more water every day. I don't know if you like water, amen, but God said you need to drink more water naturally. And But God hear God saying spiritually, he's getting ready to clean you up. 
Woo! Sister Roz, he's getting ready to clean you up. God said he's preparing you for something great. Uh, I see you on TV for something. I don't know what, but I see you on... Hey, shut up. God see you on TV talking, doing something. Hallelujah. But God said, drink more water. And God said, I'm getting ready to clean you up. And God said, the more you drink water, the more you continue to anoint your household. Everybody will stay in your house. God said, not just your son. God said, anoint everybody. Even if they sleep. God said, even if they sleep at night. God said, anoint them. Hallelujah. God said, he's getting ready to allow a well of water to come up in your spirit God say change water bring change God say water bring power God say water bring the baptism of the Holy Ghost I don't know if you have it amen but God say tonight is your night to be reintroduced to the baptism of the Holy Ghost not just with the evidence of speaking in tongues but with a changed heart with a changed life with a changed agenda go coming in one way leaving another sister the salvation of your household Go, go, shut up. God said, You are the leader. God said, It's going to start with you. God said, You ain't the head of the house, but God said, The salvation that's coming to your house is going to start with you. And God said, As you continue, as you allow the well of water to spring up in you, God said, You're going to feel a change. God said, As you pray in the midnight hour, I don't know if you ever get up in the middle of the night, but God said, At times, He's going to meet you in prayer. I don't know if you got that place in your house, amen, that you call your prayer prayer room, amen, or your war room, but God said you need to get that isolated place, and God said there needs to be some cleansing that starts with you, drink your water, and as you continue to pray, God said in the middle of the night, God said three times a day, you need to make it your business to meet God in prayer, three particular times a day, set your alarm clock, set your phone, I don't care where you at, but God said three times a day, and God said, and you need to do it in a hurry, God God say in the next three months if you continue in my way God say in the next three months that's November or December God say I'm getting ready to blow your mind God say I'm getting ready to make a change in your household like God said to God say I'm getting to make a change in you in your walk with me in your sacrifice with me God say tonight I want to touch you again I don't know if you ever felt the power of the Holy Ghost God say I want to touch you one more time in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Do it for a God. Do it for a God. Come on, touch her belly. Touch her belly in the name of Jesus. Come on, give them praise. Give them praise. Give them praise. Come on, sometimes they need help. Give them praise. Come on, there's a push. There's a push. Sometimes we don't know how to react in the spirit because we're unfamiliar with how the spirit react. Come on, so we have to set the atmosphere in the house of praise. Jesus. Jesus, he ain't trying to make her do nothing. We just trying to let her let go and let God. Hey, shut up. It got to be a change, a change in your heart, a change in your life, a change in your motive, a change in your talk, a change in your walk. God says he's getting ready to fill you with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues and living right. In the name of the Father, in the name of the hey, shut up. in the name of the Holy Ghost. Receive it, sister. Receive it. Yeah, receive it. Receive it. It's all over you. Receive it. Receive it. Think it not strange. Think it not strange. Shut up. Think it not strange. This is the Lord's doing. <laughs> I said, this is the Lord's doing. Rain down on a God. 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 Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Rain down on a God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, I need you calling on the name of Jesus and praying up in here. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. He's moving. I say, He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Come here, Trent. Hallelujah. Everything that Say everything that you have for my life, I'm ready for it. Say, God, I'm ready. Say, I'm tired of being confused. Say, I'm tired of being lost. Say, I'm tired of trying to find my way. Say, Lord, you are the answer. Say, Lord, 
you are my desire. Say, Lord, you are my purpose. Say, I live, I move, say, and I breathe in you. Say, touch me, Lord. Change me, Lord. Say, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Hey, sh hey Shata, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name, don't, don't quench, don't quench, let it go. Ha Shata, come on, let it fall, let it fall. Shata, hello, that's the love of God. Come on, you got to break down the walls, break down the walls and let the love of God come in. Yeah, we got to teach our babies, our young people, how to let go and let God. Hey, Shata, hey, it's more than a feeling, hey, it's a purpose, it's more than what I feel, it's what I know, it's what I no, it's what I know. It's what I know. Hey, Shata Baba Shata. Glory to God. Say thank you, Jesus. Come on, tell them thank you, Jesus, Trent. Tell them thank you, Jesus. You got to see yourself coming out. You got to see yourself rising above all the mess. You got to see yourself rising above all of the accolades, rising above all the negative people, or rising above all your enemies. You got enemies too. They don't like you. You got to hey, you got to rise above it and say, I'm a king's kid. I'm chosen of God. I'm unique. I'm fearfully and I'm wonderfully made. I shall live. I shall flourish. Hey, God says he's giving you heavenly wings. God says he's giving you wings to soar above. Hey, Shata. Ha, Shata. Ha, Shata. God love you, Trent. God love you. And everything that you've been through, God say I'm going to use it for your good. Hey! God say I'm healing. God say healing is taken. Hey, shake to cold. God say healing. Oh, God say I'm healing you from past hurt and present hurt. God say the healing is going to motivate you. Your healing is going to push you. And God say with the wound going to come a scar. And every time you think about it, hey, you're going to remember that God did it. Ah, God say I'm giving you wings. Mama, don't let her forget this, that she's got to fly above it. Every time she come, every time she get discouraged, tell her, Pastor Say, God giving you wings to fly, fly, to go above the noise, to go above the pestilence, to go above everything and everybody in your life that's not giving God the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Give God praise. Come, Antonio. Hallelujah. Healing. Receive it. It's mine. It belongs to me. It belongs to me. Thank you, God. I saw you while you were praying and you were prostrate before the, before in the flow, calling on the name of Jesus. I saw you going upstairs. Thank you, God. But I saw you holding on to the rails. Amen. And sometimes, a lot of times when we go upstairs and we hold on to the rails, it's because we're tired. And I say, God, what does that mean? He's going upstairs, but he's holding on to the rails. Thank you. Oh, shot take. Thank you. I just not. Yeah, right there. Thank you. God say he's allowing you to be a burden bearer. God, oh, shut up. God say he's strengthening your shoulders. God say he's strengthening your foundation. Because God say you're like a pot. And God say you're going to be like a sponge. And people are going to come to you, amen, not to, to pour on you, but they have to let go. They have to release and the release, amen, is going to come through your presence. God said he's giving you an aura about yourself that people are going to come. They're probably already doing it. Coming to you, amen, with, with secret things. Coming to you with things that they're going through. And God said you're going to always have a word of encouragement, a word of deliverance. But God said even though you're coming with these problems, God said at times you're going to be going up the stairs. God said, but you're going to get weary. But I speak if I do not be a prophet of God. That after tonight, every time you feel like you're getting weary, every time, hey, shut up. Every time you feel like you won't be able to make it, every time you get tired in your spirit, because all of us get tired in our spirits, I speak a spirit of rejuvenation. I speak a spirit of rejuvenation. I speak a spirit, hey, shut up, that God will rejuvenate you and give you strength that you know not of, because God has put a ministry in your heart, and your ministry is not for church, it's for the kingdom. 
kingdom of God. God said, I'm sending you out as sheep among wolves. God said, prepare ye, prepare ye yourself hey, to be a burden bearer. Just like Jesus had to bear the infirmities of the weak, God said, I'm preparing you. I'm strengthening your shoulders. God said, I'm strengthening your foundation. So when them that are weak come pour into you, you will minister. But God said, he's going to minister to you. God said, he's going to pour back in you. Hey, so you don't get tired. So you'll keep going up the ladder. Hey, God said, say this with me. Say, Lord, give me strength that I know not of for myself and for my family. Hey, Shata, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Shata, in the name of Jesus. And I ain't talking about your immediate family. I'm talking about even your distant family. Hey, God says some of them going to reach out to you. Some of your distant family going to reach out to you with some of their problems. And God say, tell them what does save the Lord. And God say, as you release, God say, I'm going to regenerate you. Powerful man of God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Come on, everybody. I need somebody, Sister Tina. Come on, Sister Sint, get ready to come up here. Bring your granddaughter too. Hallelujah. God told me this is healing, deliverance, and miracle. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. So Tina said, God, I'm next in line. Mm. Sister Tina, Katina, God told me to tell you you're next in line. God said, this is your season. Oh, shit, talk hollow shot. God said, this is your season to pack your bags and you're leaving from one place and you're going to another place. I'm not talking about where you live at. I'm talking about your walk with God. I'm talking about your consecration in God. God said in the last couple of months, you've been feeling yourself drawing closer to him. Uh, there are some things that God is going to have you to stop doing, amen, that you used to do, that you like doing, but sometimes it can bring a hindrance between your relationship with God. Ah, God said he's getting ready to isolate you even the more for his purpose, for his use. God said, I have need of thee. And God said, I'm getting ready to perform a miracle in your life. God said, I'm getting ready to show you that you have purpose. To show you you have destiny. God said, you haven't even scraped the iceberg on what ministry that I have put in your belly. God said, it's time for you to step out. Hey, shut it. God said, it's time for you to step out. God said, you've been quiet too long. God said, you've been obscure too long. God said, it's time for you to put your skills to action. Hey, God said, it's time for you to, oh, yes, God. God says it's time for you to start when I told you to start. Hey, shut up. You know that's God, sister. God says it's time for you to march forward and continue and continue what I started in your spirit, in your belly. Hey, say, Lord, I will do whatever you say because I'm yours. Hey, shut up, my. Hey! God said, even from a child, God said, even from a child, God said, I've called you to ministry. God said, I called you to, hey, shake, take, hello, bo shot. God said, even as a little girl, hey, you used to, hey, my, my shot. God said, even as a little girl, you used to visit yourself in ministry. You used to visit yourself helping people. Oh, God said, come out of the box. God said, come out of the shadows. And God said, come forth. I call you forth ministry. God said, I'm going to provide the funds. Don't worry about it. You just got to bring it forth. You got to write up the plan. Hey, I don't know. Hey, shut up. I don't know how long you're going to be on the job, but God said, get ready for increase. God said, get ready for increase. Hallelujah. 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 I speak expressly to someone that's having pain right now, even in your back. I need you to put your hand on your back and say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. Come on, say, I'm healed. You know who you are. Go, hey, God, say, I'm healed in Jesus' name. I speak expressly to that young boy that's having problems with his flesh. Uh -huh. God say, put your hand on your forehead and say, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. You're having problems with this flesh. God say, hey, put your hand on your own forehead. Say, Lord, deliver me. Me. I'm speaking to that young lady that's having problems with her flesh. Say, Lord, deliver me. Say, Lord, deliver me. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Come on, sister. Sit. Thank you, Lord. Bring your two granddaughters. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Saints, when God speaks to us, we need to hear. We need to obey. And we need to consider obeying him. You need to obey. But sometimes when God gives us direction, it comes with sacrifice. 
there's some things that you, you're going to have to do in order to fulfill the promises of God. I gave somebody my oil. Ha <laughs> Sister Shirah, I gave you her. I remember. Thank you, Lord. I want everybody to punch your head towards these three. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say, Lord, say, I'm yours. Say, I give my heart to you for the rest of my life. Say, help me to obey. Help me to pray for my parents, my grandparents, and for my cousins. Say, and my sister. Say, Lord, I give my heart to you, say forever. Father, as I lay my hands on this child, continue to increase her in wisdom and knowledge beyond her age. Even in school, God, we pray, God, that she will excel. We pray, God, that you will give her favor, God, among her peers and favor among her instructors. In the name of Jesus, Father, we speak success right now in her life. God, give, hey, give her the advantage, God, that she already has to be able to speak clearly, to be able to understand, God, above her grade level. In the name of Jesus, Father, give her ministry now to walk in, even at her young age. Let her walk around around in the house, around the house in ministry. Give her presence to encourage hey, shut up. Oh, sister said God said her presence her presence is going to inspire just your presence is going to lift people up just when you walk around people people are going to look at their lives and monitor their lives because the only thing that's going to be coming through your mouth is I love Jesus Jesus loved the little children you are a mouthpiece of God. You represent God. And your lifestyle is going to touch other people around you that don't know God. In the name of the Father, anoint her, Father Tony. In the name of the Father, anoint that hand. In the name of the Son, and that hand. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands say, God, I love you. Clap your hands say, Lord, I love you. Oh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. With whatever it is that comes to your mind and that comes to your will that doesn't honor God, you got to make a choice to say no. You see, when spirits come, they come with an agenda and they love to come to the innocent minds. But as we lay our hands on this beautiful young lady that God has given her destiny, we pray that the enemy will not have her actions or her mind. We pray right now, God, that you will give her to excel even the more. She's a smart girl already. To excel even the more in every area in school. But most importantly, God, in the spirit of her mind making the right choices, allowing the Spirit of God to speak through her and to move through her in the name of Jesus. Father, give her a ministry even now in the church. Father, give her to be active, whatever it is, God. Touch her heart, God, for her to do something in the ministry that she loves to do. Nobody got to tell her to do it. She wants to do it as unto your name. We speak success in her future. God, we speak, God, that no devil in hell will come, God, with a spirit God to lay hands on her we pray God that you would keep her body her mind clean we pray God that every predator God that has an assignment that may want to come hey, we cancel the assignment right now in the name of Jesus we bind COVID-19 even in her life we pray God that you would hey, hey, shut up. let the blood of Jesus God cover her not just her God but her household wherever she lives let the blood of Jesus cover her in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost repair to me say Lord speak to me and I'll do your will now clap your hands say thank you Lord thank you God come on clap your hands give God praise break your hands thank you Lord thank you Lord 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. There's a, there's a reason why you are the way you are. Being, being crafty, being helpful, being a mother figure to everyone you meet, that's not by happenstance. That's the spirit that God put on you while you were in your mother's womb. And that very anointing, I call it the anointing of God because God touched you when you was a baby. The anointing that God has put over your life, God say it's about time that you use it for kingdom work. It's about time that you use it to invest. You are an, you are a impartation, meaning when you speak, people hear. You impart in people when you come around. You impart in, your, your voice is not just loud, but it's powerful and it comes with authority. But God wants you to translate it from the natural. Woo! Shut up! God wants you to translate it from the natural into the spiritual. I'll never forget. I don't know the exact words I said to you, but I remember when I first came to preach at this church, you were sitting back there and she had on the red dress. You remember that? And I called her up. I'm going to find that because I don't know what God told her. Amen. But God is getting ready to amplify your voice in ministry. Okay? Now don't say a pastor trying to put the mic in everybody's hand. What God is saying is that there's a purpose for your voice in the ministry and only you can deliver it. There's a way that you deliver your love for Christ and people see it. They see it. But God said he want to start hearing it. Woo! Glory to God. So when pastors start asking you to do stuff, think it not strange. I'm going to give you baby steps. Amen. But, and it might stay baby steps. But God said he needs to hear you. He wants to hear you. People need to hear you. God said, people hear you, you're going to change lives. God said, you're going to change lives. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. God knows your heart, Sister Sin. He knows you love your husband. God knows you love him. You love him how much more than you love yourself. And God is getting ready. God is doing a work in him. Do you hear me? Not just him, but in your family, God is doing a work to all of them that are unsaved. All of them that may not attend church, God is doing a work in them. And God say he loves you so much that he has given you an anointing to affect lives naturally and spiritually. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I lay my hands on this mother, El Fasheta He Kalibusha. Father, I pray God that you are there it is, allow the rivers of living water. Hashete Kilobusha. He shata kilo kalibushata. Ikolobusha. Your belly. Hold your hand on her back and her belly. Hey, hey, sha. I feel the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. 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 And let him love you. Let him love on you. God says, he's, hey, yes, shed nine bad. There it is. God says, I'm getting ready to touch you like I never touched you before. God says, release. God said, I'm about to release my power of love over your life. God said, the love that you feel. Hey, God, hey, yes, shut it. God said, that's me loving on you. God said, I'm getting ready to blow up in your family. Uh-huh. God said, don't think you just coming to church for naught. But God said, I'm doing a work. The love that you have for Christ. God said, it's about to bubble over even in your family. In the name of the Father. Hey, there it is. Let it, by shot it, it may feel emotional, but it's God. What God is doing, He's giving you assurance. He's letting you know that I, uh, you, you shit. God say it's not about your emotion. It's about what you know that God loves you. You know that God cares for you. You know that God is not gonna leave you by yourself. You know that God hasn't forgot about you. God say I ain't forgot about you. Hey, God say I love you even the more. Hey, God say every time you think I don't love you, I love you more. Hey, Chateau Colobosha. Yeah, that does shut up in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. God said, your life is ministry. God said, your life is ministry. Never forget. Your life is ministry. Whew. 
God said he needs you to start doing some kind of witnessing. Whether it be, I don't know if you need to get New Testament Bibles with Proverbs. I heard somebody just tell me that. I think it was your daughter. Somebody gave her a Bible when she was at the job. I talked to her one day. Amen. But God said he needs you to do some type of witnessing. Silent. Y'all ever heard of silent witness? Amen. I had your mama, uh, I had your grandma, your mother-in-law doing some tracks. You remember? But God wants you to start doing some silent witnessing. Whether it's the te New Testament Bibles, or old, is it New Testament, Proverbs, the Psalms? Amen. Yes. Or, or some tracks. Okay? That's, your, that's one of the ways God's going to have you to spread the good news. You hear me? All right. I want to see you doing it. Come on. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Put your hands, sister, the last one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Say, Lord, stand up. Stand up. Stand up in me. Say, all in me. Say, every area of my life. I give you permission to take a stand of authority in my life. And I will obey every time. You speak, I'll speak. Every time you tell me to move, I'll move. Whatever you tell me to say, I will do. Because I'm yours. I shot talk. I shot talk right there. I, in the name of Jesus, I'm yours. He wanted to hear you say that with your heart. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. God said you belong to him. God said, don't worry about the errors in your life that need improvement. <laughs> God said, I know about that. Hey! God said, don't worry about the lonely nights. God said, I know about that too. But God said, if you take care of my business, he said, I'll take care of yours. Oh, shout out by. Surrender your life to Jesus and watch how he blow your mind. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We love you. May the Lord watch while we're absent one from another we'll see you next Sunday at 930 for a powerful women's and men's day at Mount Pisgah the resilient church God bless you we love you may heaven continue to smile upon you hallelujah